Mr. Beast, biggest YouTuber, any video he puts out, 10 times viral. I don't give a fuck. Best video possible, or get out of my face. In the last year, he's put out a chocolate bar that did just that. People can't stop talking about or buying this chocolate bar. So I'm here to try, rank, and give my honest opinion on this chocolate bar. Welcome to Joe Will Eat. Starting this video, I want you to know that I do not like chocolate. Never have, not even in my Halloween days. Yeah, okay. But recently I started posting a shorter day on the hunt to find a chocolate that I tolerate. If you wanna see me get tortured on a daily basis, click the link up here. So, I have every chocolate bar that Mr. Beast has put out to the day. I'm gonna try, rank, and give them my honest opinion. Starting with original chocolate. The packaging looks A1. I love the packaging, and I like how on the original bar it has the Mr. Beast original logo. Every other one has a different logo colorway, if you will, to match the packaging. I think this is dark chocolate. I'm not really sure, because there is a milk chocolate option. Let's go ahead and open up and see. Okay, so here's the chocolate bar. It has wavy, it has a, a piece up here for you can share and then devour up here. I like the share feature. I feel like I don't see that in a lot of chocolate bars. Very unique to this chocolate bar. It's very wavy. I don't know if that's meant to be that way, but let's give it a try. Try the share piece. It definitely is chocolate, and I think it is dark chocolate. There's no milk in the ingredients. Wow, I just noticed something. The bar says Guys, there's only four ingredients. And I looked at the back and it looked like there's only four. Now that is very cool. how they, how they do it? how they get away with only four ingredients? I feel like all the chocolate bars that are out right now have like 50 ingredients on the back of the thing. Now, I tried it. Now it's time to rank it. I feel like this one goes kind of mid-level. I feel like, I mean, uh, I'm not, I'm hoping the rest are better, but I, I'm feeling that this one's gonna be like right in the middle, because there are some, flavors on here that look like they have potential to be great. So I'm gonna put this one right in the middle. There's seven, so I'll probably put this right at about three. Not nah, four, I'll put it at four. Moving on, milk chocolate. Now I know that this is a small bar. This is all that the Walmart that I had had, and I refuse to spend $50 on a bunch of chocolate bars that I'm not gonna eat. It's like $30 for like 10 of the regular size. I don't like chocolate, so. All right, let's go ahead and open it up, give it a try, and then give it a rank. Okay. Hey, it still has the share piece and it still has the devour. So I'm, I'm thinking all of the candy bars look the exact same from the exterior. All right, so let's go ahead and, I guess I'll take an actual bite out of this one. Mm. You guys say? This one is better than the original. <clears throat> but is it good? I mean, I don't like it. I mean, now I feel like to give a good, honest opinion, I have to eat the entire bite. Whew. All right, so I think that one's a little better, so I think I'm gonna rank that one on number three. It's better than the original, but I'm also not like a dark chocolate or a regular chocolate person, so yeah, a three. Next up, we have sea salt, chocolate sea salt. Now, I do like sea salt. I think uh, Wendy's, they started putting sea salt on their fries or something like that, and I feel like they got better. I don't know, I just, I'm just a really big fan of sea salt. I feel like you're never gonna know if it's gonna come out with the share or the devour. I feel like the first one came out with the share on top, but this one came out with the devour on top. But let's give it a try. Hmm. I like the salt. You can taste the salt, but the chocolate, it just tastes, I'll tell you what it tastes like. It tastes like the dark chocolate one, but with salt. So this one is also better. So now I'm gonna move the original chocolate down and put this one right above it. But I do think that the milk chocolate is better than that one. Moving on. Next we have almond chocolate. Almond chocolate, see, they had to add some, some type of nut to it, right? 
you can really see the nuts on the other almonds on the back. Almonds are a type of nut, right? So let's give it a try. This one's crunchy. Hmm. I'm trying them all back to back. I start to kind of blur the line because I think all of them are pretty much the same. Just one or two ingredients taken off. Now I do like the crunch. I like the I like the almonds. I'm an almond person. And texture's big. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this one above the sea salt. And move the sea salt down. So now I think calculations are right. Original's at the bottom. Because it went from four to five to now six or seven. I don't even know where it's at. I should have something displaying where everything is. But I do think that the milk chocolate is better than this. I do think the milk chocolate is the only one that we've had so far better than that. So I think at the bottom, it goes original sea salt almond milk so far. Moving on. Yes, we have another tiny one. Hopefully there's not like a different flavor just because it's a different size, right? Hopefully the size doesn't tell you whether or not it's a different flavor or not. What? Go ahead and open this. Okay, so you can tell that this is the crunch one, okay? The crunch one, I think it just has like rice puffs, puffed rice in it, yeah. So this is also a milk chocolate, but it has the puffs in it. And so is it the same milk chocolate? I assume so, right? It has to be. Let's give this one a bite. Hmm. Huh. I don't think my stomach likes this. So the puffs, they definitely add some texture, which I like, but for some reason, I think it might take away some of the flavor. I gotta, let me see. Science. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm putting the, the crunch over the milk chocolate. All right, so now the crunch is the best one that Mr. Beast has to offer. Moving on. Now, here's where we start to get weird. This is the quinoa version, quinoa crunch. And so we have the puffed rice and now we have the quinoa. All right. I'm not too uh, excited about this one. See, devour on top. I feel like it always should be, maybe it's just like a packaging manufacturer thing. All right, let's go ahead and give the quinoa crunch a try. Yeah, I'm not finishing that one. I think we're back to dark chocolate. Ugh. Yeah, that has to be the worst one. Yeah, that one's under the original. Moving on. Last but not least, we have these nuts. That's the name of the chocolate bar. <laughs> yeah, these nuts. That's that's the name of the chocolate bar. That's kind of crazy. How do they get away with this type of stuff? So this is the one that has the peanut butter in it. Um, I think this one's going to be pretty decent, right? I feel like this one has to be the best one because I love peanut butter. So that means I love these nuts. This would be has the jokes. So let's give it a try. Why did I have like a, if you ever try this, I want you to visualize this. I just took a bite and for some reason it tastes skunky. Is that just me? Is it really getting to my brain now? I don't taste the peanut butter. It tastes how a skunk smells, but it's still better than a lot of those other ones, which is, which is hard to say. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna rank this one. This is definitely disappointing. So I'm definitely gonna take crunch, milk chocolate, then this one. I might even put put it underneath the almond. Yeah, I think I'm, I think the almond was dark chocolate. See now, let me try the almond, where's the almond at? Yeah, almond is definitely dark, this is milk. I think I like the milk chocolate better. This one's gonna be above the almond. So my ranking goes crunch chocolate, milk chocolate, these nuts, almond, sea salt, original quinoa. That's the order.
Now, what are my honest opinions? I feel like throughout this whole video, you've seen me try a bunch of chocolates that I do not like. I don't, I don't think these chocolates are anywhere close to any of the other chocolates that you grew up having. I've had 50 different chocolate bars in the last 50 days, and these chocolates aren't up to par. All right, so I wouldn't even put them in the top 50%, the top 25 bars. This is my last time trying these Mr. Beast chocolates. They're not good. These Feastables, I don't like them. Now, this is coming from someone who doesn't like chocolate, but if I like it, that means it's good, right? Because if someone who doesn't like chocolate likes a type of chocolate, that means it should be good, which I don't like any of these, once again. But there are some that are better than others. Now, my honest opinion about these are that they are not for everyone. They are overpriced and overhyped. That is my honest opinion. I feel like if you try these, you're gonna be disappointed. I've seen the videos out there where people are praising these chocolate bars. They are not good to me. Once again, this is my opinion. But hey, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a like. If you wanna see me rank and try other foods, let me know down below. But I'll see you in the next video. Peace.